Hello, I'm Keith Ford, and welcome to this edition of From the Vault. Today, I have my Russian TT-33 pistol, designed by Fedor Tokarov as a replacement for the aging 1895 Nagant revolver and accepted into service as a TT-30. The TT-33 is just a simplified version of that original TT-30 design. As soon as the TT-30 was accepted in service by the Russian military, they started noticing some things that they needed changed, mainly to simplify the gun and to speed up production of it. And I'll break this down and I'll show you the differences right here. First off, we'll check make sure that the firearm is unloaded. Do a visual and physical check, nothing in there. Okay, the way that you'll break this down is push this little clasp back and then push this catch out and the slide comes forward move the spring rotate the barrel bushing and the barrel comes out now on the original TT30 the locking lugs are similar to a 1911, which instead of going all the way around, they were just a half lug, which took a little bit more time. The TT-33, as you see here, has fully radial lugs and is a lot quicker producing this barrel. And you'll see right here it has a link on it like a 1911. These were borrowed from Browning's 1911-1903 pistol designs. And on the TT-30, it had a replaceable back strap back here, for which they really didn't need, and they deleted this on the TT-33. Now, a very cool little piece about the TT-30 and TT-33 is the hammer pack right here. But you can pull that out and replace that, and that makes the servicing this pistol very easy. If something breaks in here in the field, all you have to do is replace this pack. We're on a 1911, you're pulling the whole thing apart. And then you just drop this back in here, like that. Drop this back in here. In there. See now then have that back in there like that. Slide the back onto the frame. Put your slide release back in. Slide this little clasp forward and she's fully assembled. The TT30 and TT33 were both chambered for the new Tokarov 762 by 25 round which Fedor Tokarov developed that cartridge for these handguns but also used them in the Russian PPD, PPSH41 and PPS43 submachine guns. They were very effective on the battlefront. Now, another interesting part about this gun right here is even though it was designed to replace the 1895 Nagant revolver due to the shortage of firearms during the Second World War after the German invasion of Russia, it was actually produced side by side with the 1895 Nagant revolver. So they were both in production at the same time at the same plants. Around 1951, 52, somewhere in that neighborhood, the TT-33 was finally pulled out of frontline service and was relegated back to reserves, police, and other units. But it's still encountered worldwide as it's still in production in some countries today. The Makarov PM was what replaced this gun and it used a smaller cartridge, the 9x18 Makarov. We'll cover that in another episode of From the Vault. What I really find interesting about this gun is that this belonged to a friend of mine that I met several years ago, and he actually captured this. But he didn't capture in World War II, uh, he captured it in North Korea. He was a CIA man at the time and was at the nor in the North as the Chinese were launching the counterattack, coming back into Korea as the American forces had pushed North. And he removed this from a deceased soldier, and it means a lot to me because it all the stuff that it's been through. Now this one is a 1942 all original Izvik production gun. It went through the Second World War and all the way in through the Korean War and was brought home. So it that means a lot and it's pretty neat and it's fun to shoot. Thanks for watching and if you have a gun you'd like to see just leave us a comment. We'll see you next time whenever we bring another gun from the vault.